Wait, what if you actually didn't scroll and took the time to listen to this video and in the next 30 to 60 seconds, the Lord is able to speak to you and give you a brand new revelation. Would you please share this with somebody so the Lord can give them a revelation as well? In 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Right? So in this verse, it's calling us to give thanks to the Lord. And then it tells us why. We're called to give thanks to the Lord. Why? Because he is good. And his steadfast love endures forever. Right? I'll break that down for you. So... We've all heard the saying, God is good, and all the time, God is good, right? All that, right? But I want to I wanna skip past that just for one second. I love the word steadfast. Love it. It's used in the Bible a lot. But specifically for this verse, I love, I love the fact that, that that word is used, right? It says, God's steadfast love, not his love. They could have just said his love, but no, no, not his love. His steadfast love. What does that word mean? It means when something is immovable, unchangeable. It can't be compromised. It can't be changed. It can't be like, it's not a, ba- you know, like a bandwagon, a bandwagon sports fan is like, oh, I like this team. Now I like this team. Now I like this team. That's not God's love. God's love doesn't switch up. God's love is the same today as it will be tomorrow, as it was a month ago, as it was 2000 years ago. God's love never changes. It stays the same and it endures, right? When you endure something, you, you take it, right? So, God's love endures forever. Now, why does it say that it endures? Because at the end of the day, we don't deserve God's love. We mess up every day. We sin every day. We fall short of the glory of God every single day, multiple times a day, not just once, multiple times a day. I can't count the times I've sinned today. None of us can. But that's the point of this verse is that his love endures. It endures all. It endures all of our sin. It endures all the times that we shut him out. It endures all the times where we put him second. It endures all the times where we don't give him the time that he deserves. It endures all of that forever. And that's never going to change. God's not going to wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? You know what? I'm about fed up with you not like not admiring me and not giving me the time that I deserve. I'm not going to love you anymore. That's not what that means. This verse is saying the opposite. That if you wake up tomorrow and you're like, you know what, God, I don't believe in you anymore. He's going to be like, that hurts so bad. That breaks my heart. But I still love you. And I'll be waiting for you when you come back to me. That's crazy. That is crazy. He's the type of God who gives chance after chance after chance forever. Because that's the type of love that he gives. And that's the type of love that he is because God is love. I want you guys to understand that. Now look, if this video has helped you or encouraged you in any way or maybe taught you a little something new, would you please share this with somebody who you think needs to hear it? Thank you and God bless.